What's great about your story is that you are indie filmmakers making a product for fellow indie filmmakers. Um, so shouldn't you, I mean, don't you feel that other indie filmmakers should give you sort of a break in how long something takes? For us, we made a film, we thought, great, it'll take a year to finish, we crowdfunded for it on Kickstarter. It took three years, and every day there was an inertia that weighed us down because it wasn't done. So, do you think that people realize sometimes how long things take, and should they be? I know even on, on the Scarlet website, I saw something like you know, um, subject to you know, we reserve the right to cancel orders, especially if you know you're you're rude on the phone, or there was just something about that. So, do you think people realize that things take time, things don't go as planned, and there are setbacks? Yeah, I, as far as uh, the delay. Just about everybody has actually been really nice about it, yeah. and we have had very few people uh, say anything negative. I, as far as Kickstarter, yeah, I, I have I've backed more than seventy-five projects myself, um, and the technology projects are generally late. You know, um, I backed uh, a small sensor project that um, is going on almost a year late. They're just starting to deliver now. I backed uh, the the adult tricycle project which is now over a year and a half late, um, and some other things like that. So I think people understand, and we try to make updates once a week. We're available on, on uh, the forum every day, practically. Uh, we tweet regularly, we're on Facebook, and we just recently, about three weeks ago, started every Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're on Ustream to answer questions for anybody that wants to come join us. And um, so we're trying very hard to uh, communicate with our, our uh, Kickstarter backers and other people who are interested in the product and, uh, and, and let people know where we're at. But um, yeah, I think people understand. The other thing that's interesting is because we started the forum and we've been talking to people and we've heard reviews of other cameras from Philip Bloom and people like that, we've actually made over a hundred changes to the camera since March. So there are now over a hundred different um, th things that are different. Some of them small, like a screw being moved over half an inch or something like that. But some of them are really large, like adding the HDMI port or bumping the sound up to 24, 96 kilohertz, 24 bit, 96 kilohertz. Or um, we heard uh, a need for a higher end video output. So we couldn't afford to put that in there, but what we did was we put in an extra data path that went to the bottom of the camera so that in the future we can add something like an HDSDI module to the bottom of the camera. This was not planned at March during our launch, so all these things that have been added, of course, they take time. So we hope that the ultimate product that, that the Kickstarter backers get is going to be quite a bit better than the one that they pledged on. Um, and yes, it took a little more time to get to them, but it's will be quite a bit better of a product with not a dollar extra expense on their part. Yeah. I mean, I think something that, you know, everything always takes longer than you expect it to take, especially with a creative project, especially, especially in a collaborative project where there's so many different factors involved. Um, you know, there, there are stops and starts that you don't anticipate even if you have the full budget. And I think, especially through projects funded on Kickstarter, um, the filmmakers themselves have, an, or anyone who has started a project on Kickstarter, they feel an overwhelming accountability. And sometimes what they do is instead of sharing, which is not like the first thought that you would have is like to share all the problems that you're going through, a lot of them feel like they, they can't update and they shouldn't share those things. And that's what can sometimes create problems between the backers and the creatives that have started the campaign is that you know when people are donating to a Kickstarter, they understand that these are people that you know can't get the money from somewhere else. They're generally starting out especially on the technology products. Most of them are people that haven't developed that kind of product before. And people are donating to the dream. They are donating to help these people 
you know, out. There may be other motivations too, such as, you know, they want to see the process because maybe they want to create something similar and they want to see how it goes for somebody else first. There's, there's many reasons, but most of them are emotional. Most people don't necessarily kickstart a project because they want the item. Many people are, are donating because they want to legitimately help the people out or they're interested in the product once it reaches viability. And so I think that while people don't want to disappoint their backers, the correct thing to do is to actually share the story and share what you're changing and what the hiccups are. And I think that while one might think that would cause a negative impression. I think that's one of the reasons why we have had such a positive reaction, is that we update constantly. And as Joe said, we have like very strong communication between us and our backers, and we make ourselves available, you know, every single day to them. And that has also created a really great community around the camera. And with the forum, are you both moderating? Yeah, Joe's on it much more than I am. Um, I kind of tend to go to the Twitter, Facebook side, and he goes to the forum side. Um, but you know, we there's a lot of this type of, of social media that you know we both answer emails, we both moderate comments on the website, we both write blog posts, and it'll shift. You know, who's focusing more on some things and who's focusing more on other things, but that's something that we feel that we need to do personally because you know we want people to you know people believed in us and we want them to continue to believe in us so we don't want to cut ourselves off or create any kind of middle person in there our, our forums are um, sort of uniquely populated by crazy hyper intelligent people yeah. that are really really technical and um, I myself, who have uh, a lot of uh, background in technical stuff and, and have been reading about it for many years, often have to go research for half an hour to answer someone's forum post because they're really, really smart. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of crazy, crazy smart people on our forum that, that um, offer really good ideas. That's why the camera has changed so much since March is because they have given us amazing, amazing ideas that really are are above and beyond what we expected. And, uh, and we're very thankful to have yeah. such a smart community to, to help us.